Hey folks, Scott from IT Rockstar. I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to cover some keywords that you should be optimizing your MSP website for to attract in new clients. But before I start that, finally finished the office space. I've got my fire going. It's looking very minimal at the moment. There's just a desk there. Um, and this is the other side. It's actually going to eventually be an Airbnb. It's going to be a little kitchen area here. And there's going to be a little toilet out there. As I say, the floor is still to be laid, uh, but we're getting there with it. Anyway, keywords. I wrote a blog post recently, let me find it here, all about keywords for your, your MSP and what you should really ideally be optimizing your website for. Things have changed a lot during the pandemic. People have become more accustomed to meeting on Teams and Zoom. A lot of MSPs that I see now, modern MSPs, they can actually operate anywhere where. So it's opened up um, scope for the types of keywords that you can optimize. So people that are searching for, you know, IT services in your local area, they're like classical keywords, as I would call them. There are now a bunch of more modern keywords that you can optimize your website for and scale your business nationally or even internationally. So I'm going to show you them here. It's in this blog post that I've got. So I cover off the first is just basically 65 classical terms. And these terms here that you can see they're really round about what you're from a local perspective. So all these keywords that you see here, you want to include your location and then you optimize the pages on your page with that, those locations and these keywords. This data, the way that I got this data, we actually run a web directory for MSPs. And when a new member joins us here at IT Rockstars, they get listed into the directory. Now we've been running this for about five years now, just under five years. The website's called MSP Near Me. So we get a lot of data from MSPs on the terms that they want to be found for, but we also, on the other side of it, get to see types of searches that are happening when people find the MSP near me website via the search console. Together with all of that data, five years worth, we put together this big list of classical and um, that you can find here. And it's quite a big one. This is on the website that you can find here. Um, and there's a bit of a structure behind it as well. So if you're optimizing your website for any of these terms, you want to have a structure like this. Basically, you want the home page. You want to take your primary keywords that would be optimized on your home page. Then you have your services pages and then the, the tertiary pages, and um, which are actually your blog articles that support your service pages. This will allow you to get topical authority, which basically means you're going to get ranked higher in Google. And once you achieve that topical authority. Now, from a modern MSP perspective, as I mentioned, you can scale now nationally or internationally and be operate almost like within a niche or niche and for your MSP. And to give you some examples of that, what we're seeing here is MSPs are now um, optimizing their websites for industry related terms. Um, and not only just industries, but also the types of software applications that these particular industries use. Now, I always give the example when it comes to professional services. Um, accountancy firms. So here are some niche specific keywords that you could be going after when it comes to accountancy, IT, C4 accountancy firms. You can also do blog articles based on the applications that these businesses use. So things like Sage, QuickBooks, Xero, um, you could be talking about problems that your, your existing client base that just happen to be accountants are facing with this um, and then supporting this key term that you're trying to optimize for. I've got like a hundred um, keywords within here that you could potentially choose. Um, and what I would suggest is that you choose within one industry, you niche down. To give you the perfect example of how this works, IT Rockstars, we have a community. I do a bit of consulting and we also have a lot of execution guides within our, our membership here at IT Rockstars. But it's very much focused on managed service providers. That's the first niche. And then we niche it down even further where it's SEO for managed service providers. So it's a niche within a niche. So that if you can do something similar in your MSP, you can, you'll find that it's much easier to, to target who that you're looking to attract in from a direct mail perspective, but also when it comes to terms like this, and um, when people are actually searching on Google. Now you are obviously going to have a lot less search volume for these niche specific terms, but they're going to be far more relevant. You're going to have a lot less competition going after them. So I suggest go and have a look at this. And then just to bring up another little nugget of advice here, 
if you are going after these niche specific terms, be aware that you probably shouldn't actually be optimizing your whole page for that term. It should be an inner page within your website because if you go and do a search on just now uh, on Google for one of these niche terms, you'll find that it's the inner pages that are ranking. It's not the main pages. Whereas the classical terms, like in this screenshot here, I've got a keyword IT support Chicago, and you'll find that it's usually the homepage that ranks for those classical terms. The other nugget of information that I want to share with you is the intent of the keyword. Potentially someone that's wanting to switch MSP or looking for an MSP, they're in an awareness state. They're starting their buying journey off. off. They're maybe unhappy with their existing um, MSP and they're going to have specific terms in here that are more about awareness. And you can see them here and then they'll take you into consideration. And then the further stage of this is almost like the decision stage of that buying journey. Like, how much do MSPs actually charge? And um, they'll be looking at keywords. You'll be, they'll be searching keywords like that and um, similar key, keywords like that. So I've got all this information stated out here within this blog post. I have also included within it some tools and some chat GPT prompts you can use um, for this to really hone in once you've decided on the niche specific terms that you're looking for. I also cover a tool called SAMrush that will allow you to even see what, what keywords people are actually paying for on the Google ads platform. And there, those are ones that are like commercially relevant. So they're further down that buying intent funnel on the keyword side. So you can find some really good information there. Um, and there's a few other little bits of information. If you want help with this, like where to start with all these keywords, or maybe you're doing SEO already, and you're just not having much success. Check out our one month free trial of IT Rockstars. You can go to itrockstars.net. You can get access a month for free and you'll get some time with myself and we can look over and do a little bit of an audit of your site. Anyway, that's it for just now. I'll catch you later, folks. Take it easy. Bye.